Und jetzt ist das Ding aufgetaucht. Okay. So. Hey, Assholes. Uh, I want to teach you a thing or two about polyrhythms. Specifically polyrhythms within one track. We have our um, drum track here. And what we're going to do is the drums, so the kick drum, bass drum, whatever, and snare are going to be playing in four fourths, whereas the cymbals are going to be playing in six eighths. So I'm going to do a very simple drum beat, real quick. Um, hang on. Really very simple copy and paste, uh, I don't know, 16 times, whatever. So there we go. Now we switch to 6 eighths and open up another percussion track. And what we're going to do now is we are going to imagine some drums in 6 eighths. Let's see whether I can come up with something real quick. Um, give me one second. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. Da, da, da. Okay. So there, and then the second one is going to be this. And the third one is going to be this. Um, no, hang on. The fourth one is going to be that, the first one is going to be uh, this, the second one is going to be that. So, now, <clears throat> where the fuck is it? We got these symbols here in 6 8. Right? So, I'm going to paste that, uh, I don't know, 8 times, whatever. And if we play them both together, That's our polyrhythm. Now you can't, it's kind of subtle because the drums are playing very few actual notes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up these measures. Oops. Yeah, fuck off. Going to fill up these measures. Like this. Okay. Um, fuck off, you fucking bitch. That's um right. I'm gonna do just to get a bit of variation in there, we're gonna do it like this. Copy, paste, a time, whatever. And now take a listen. Now it's still kind of subtle, you can make it way more obvious if you wanted to, but it, it works. Um, and if you got other instruments now, instruments that actually play notes, you can have them follow either of those, or follow one and then follow the other, or follow an entirely different scheme, then you got not only a polyrhythm with two rhythms, but a polyrhythm with three rhythms. We're not gonna go that far today. Now the other way around would obviously be have the um, have the have the symbols play in four four. Okay, hang on, I'm just uh, making something up on the spot. Um. Mm. 
I'm gonna go the other way around now. Do, 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 do. That's gotta do it. So we got our four fourths symbol run here. And now we're gonna switch back to six eighths and um, come up with a drum pass. Let me let me think for a second. Um, so this would obviously be the simplest possible thing that we could do. That would be pretty boring. It's, it's kind of interesting, but it should be more interesting. Let's see. up with something really quick that no, that's not really good but it'll do so now we got it's not really fun to play around with in the last song I created um, the guitars, there are, there are two guitars, they are playing in four fourths, uh, most of the time, it actually changes a bit, and the drums play in six eighths. So this is a practical example of all this shit happening. I'm gonna start from the beginning, just to give you a feel. Straight forward, four fourths. Except for this bit. Symbols playing six eighths. Kinda a bit tricky to get your two polyrhythmic lines lined up again because most of the time it's gonna be like um, okay one of them played four rounds and the other has only played three and if the second one plays another three that's not gonna add up and crap now here it just so happens to work out because the riff goes four fourths four fourths four fourths then two fourths, four fourths, four fourths, seven eighths, three eighths. That just so happens to line up because the total of eights is divisible, dividable, dividable, whatever, by six. So we got uh, three eights, ten eights, um, four fourths is obviously eight eights, so eighteen eights, right? Twenty six eights. 2 fourths is obviously 4 eighths, so that's 30 eighths. 
38 eighths, um, 46 eighths, uh, I can't math, 65 eighths, and what? 65? 56? Okay, doesn't matter, I can't count. Um, I'm obviously retarded, but it does add up because if we look at the drums here and just switch to switch to six eighths you can see the drums are in six eighths but this whole crap when the riff starts over which is is it here no it's here when the riff starts over it starts at a new measure just like it should so that happened to work out I got lucky I didn't plan that but you can if you want plan such things in advance if you're playing around with polyrhythms so um, I guess that's it then I have no way I have no idea what orientation the camera is currently in, so I don't know whether I'll be... Whatever, doesn't matter. Um... Okay, just don't do it like this. So, that's my little lesson. My little, <laughs> my little lesson on polyrhythms. Really easy, really basic stuff. Um, if you liked it, press the like button, which should be, this is probably going to be mirrored, so the like button should be here, I think. Somewhere. And the subscribe button should also be there, in case you want to subscribe. It costs nothing, it just lets you know whenever I upload more shit. And um, down here is also the dislike button somewhere so if you disliked the video press that and more importantly write into the comments why you dislike the video otherwise your opinion is worthless if you just dislike without a reason it's no fucking point You're just a troll um anything else nah probably not uh if you feel like killing yourself either get into therapy or kill yourself and um, that's going to be it for this video I am now going to press the button which causes the recording to stop it's right th there on my screen and I'm going to press it now wait hang on I almost forgot the most important thing of all That kind of looks pretty dope. Look at me. Oh, glowy eyes, dude. <laughs> Fucking retarded. No, fuck off.